Okay, so we've moved on and I've just been doing a bit of work on my shading of my main area of the bag. So you can see it's developed from the last video. And what I've done is I've drawn the shapes a little bit neater where the creases are. And I want to look at where is dark and where is light. So it's really important you look very closely at the picture you're drawing. So from there, I've just started to try and get rid of the lines really and shade off the lines like I was talking about before. And there's a little area here I need to finish. So I've got my lines, but now oh, I don't want lines. I want to shade off the lines. So I'm starting to look at which areas are darker, which areas are lighter, and start building up my tone. It's all about tone which develops into form. One of the main areas that students at school always need to work on is they tend initially to draw and shade flat. So there's not a lot of form and depth to the pictures. So we need to really work on that and, and develop a whole range of tones. And those soft pencils I'm talking about, the 6Bs, 4Bs, they're really going to help you to improve your drawing. So what I've also got, I've got all these outside lines. So what I want to do is just make sure that I'm just shading off those lines so they're just softer. Can you see? So that is really going to just kind of develop your picture a bit more. You don't want those lines. So there's another little dark bit there. So this is one of the bags that I've shown you by Miles Thistleplate. There's a few different ones that you can draw from. You don't have to draw this one, but it gives you an idea. So I'm just gonna finish this off. It's really important I concentrate. I don't wanna stuff it up at this stage. Darker shading to get those areas that are a bit further away. So where it's creasing and going in. And then there's lots of little creases which you don't want to shade, you want to leave as white. So again at the bottom, let's just try and keep my pencil on the paper as much as I can. Because I want to get that feel for the drawing. Nice and light, just layer. We're nearly there. This again, I've just got a bit of line here, I just want to get rid of that. And just soften it off, but leave it quite light. Remember this is the foreground, we don't want this too dark, so it will lose its depth. Right, we're nearly there I think. So I've got light areas, I've got dark areas in here. I've gone over this a little bit more. When I started shading on the uh, bag area, I realised I needed to darken it a bit more. So, I just worked on that a little bit more. Now what you can also do, if you feel that like you're a little bit dark in some areas, you can just kind of use your rubber and just get little highlights just to kind of just to kind of give it a little bit of uh, further range of tone, but only if you want to. And uh, so that is your final drawing I want you to achieve, I could put a, a um, shadow under here if I wanted to, but you don't need to, but that's something you might want to do. Now, from this, think about, you could do that from a Miles Thistlethwaite drawing, but you could develop your work further, and you could take a bag of your own and draw from that as well. So that could be any bag, it could be a plastic bag, a shopping bag, it could be a school bag, it could be a rucksack. Um, you could even use a packet of crisps. But what I don't want to see is the lettering. I want to see the shape and the tone and how it creases, not necessarily the detail and the graphics on it. If you want to do that as well, that'd be even amazing. But try and think about how you create the shape, the lines, the tone, and try and make sure you use the guidelines that I showed you in um, video one. So the eye shape to start with, then think about the outline then put the creases in, 
then think about background. So the background is your hole and then start about the foreground. So different sequence of work, really important how you do your work and don't just try and do this first, okay? Lots of people try and do the, the uh, foreground first and it's, it's a mistake because you need to think about what's the darkest areas first then get lighter. It's easier to go darker but it's trickier to go lighter uh, but if you've already shaded this too dark, you you know you're gonna find it hard to get it lighter without rubbing out. So work the way that I've showed you, and I look forward to seeing all your work. So send me any of your work by email, or th or, or attach it onto your OneNote document, and um, I'll let you know how you've got on. Thank you.